last time on Kyle Phillips Fun. again <laughs> i'm on a controller five for craig four for coop two for two controller for rocker, rocker. <laughs> and of course a big old five star for me how are y'all doing better than me i'm literally hitting 90 percent of the notes rocker yeah, has well, a feel to not be good at it yeah rocker yeah we gotta hey peter hey, how's it going peter, peter. Wait, who was that? Carol, did you see, uh, you see what I posted? Oh, I did, baby. You got me drooling over here. <laughs> you got me is drooling. Is that stream surprises? Because I'm looking forward to that. Oh, no, no, no. Philip, uh, <laughs> Philip's got Here's me. my dick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my lord. I got you guys No! You didn't have <laughs> my back! Mid. Bad romance. 500 V bucks. How much is 500 V bucks? That is four dollars and fifty cents for a song. Four dollars and fifty cents. These used to cost a buck. Stop it. He's 14 feet tall. Used to cost a buck. Oh, ignore that. Ignore that. Hello. What up, Beth? What up, Moogs? Kite. Deku ship dance a gal. You do hear a baby. Hello, hello. How's everyone's Monday and Tuesday? Heck yeah, Bing Nessa. Wait, Nessa, I thought you were going to be at work. Well, Vivi, hello, welcome in. Coop. Welcome in, Coop. Oh, Brooke Elizabeth, welcome in. Wait, Dancer Gal, what is this logo? Twitch recap 2023. Hey, Bingle Bongle, pizza in the house. Oh, you work in two hours, gotcha. Okay, what's going on with Blurt? Let me investigate. I feel like this is like three streams in a row. Hang on, let me see what I can do. Bingle Bongle. Okay. Uh automatically okay can i pause walk on is paused walk on is resumed let's see if that just did it blurt beeping sucks now so i hurt hey lo-fi uh yes please i will take anything you got any bacon or hummus or i'll take whatever hey what up holy holy of the murdies one Thousand give subs badge. <laughs> Coop. <laughs> I scared you earlier today, Ark. That's what we're McChicken sandwich. Nice. Ooh, Laffyson. That's brutal. I used to have a rabbit. I don't think I have a walk. Oh, nice, Brooke. Yeah, drop your little Arknessa Crocs that has uh, Kirishima and uh, Bakugo in it. Chillin', it's pretty cute. If you're tier three. Followers and up get uh Oh my God. 
I forgot so many things. Hey, Laura. Hello, Caitlin. Hello, Zach. Welcome in. Becky, how's it going? I oh, appreciate you, Laura. The My Hero. Has everyone watched the My Hero OVA? Laura, thanks for the rose. Jake, I am. I am indeed going to suck on a me. Sakanime. Caitlin, hello. Sorry, I forgot to connect. Moogs, you going to Sakanime? Oh, worked manually? Okay, there you go. Sakanime. Yeah, Lil Vivi. We have a card game OVA that's out. I'm over hell the blue. Christmas without you. Gotta go find it. Good luck. I don't know where it's at. I assume Crunchyroll. Hell yeah, pizza. Do it. That's right, Lexi. I do. Jello, hello. Who was that? Was that someone's walk on? Hey, Raven, thanks for the galaxy. Callie, Callie is a bit far. That was Taylor's. Okay, Taylor, what did it? I don't see where you sub or where you made it happen. Welcome to the stream, the fart of the sub, the holy murder. The stream has been hashtag blessed by the patron saint of gift subs of the family. Welcome in, holy. Welcome in, Taylor, our resident hunter of monsters. And there's Lusty Lexi, 69.9k PFM zone. Lustful Lexi. Clicked walk on. My, my Monster Hunter Wilds 2025. Nice. Peanut butter and jelly sandwich with without banana slices. Well, it depends. Those are two separate sandwiches. I'll do PBJ. The only thing I would add to a PBJ is honey. Maybe. Otherwise, I'll have a peanut butter banana sandwich with bacon and honey. Ah, looks good. <laughs> Vivi, enjoy the OVA. You are exhibiting signs consistent with an increase in fear, hopelessness, and frustration. <laughs> Ark Nessa! PB and J and Pickles. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Ark Nessa! Ark Nessa with a thousand bits here. Dropping a thousand bits. It's Ark Nessa. Ark NASA, NASA with, with the a thousand, thousand bit cheer. Dropping a thousand, thousand bits. It's Ark NASA. Let me try again. Ark NASA with a thousand bit cheer. Dropping a thousand bits. It's Ark NASA. There you go. Everyone's trying to walk on. It doesn't work. Chaos, hello. Matt. Guys, drop your Matt emotes. We got Matt in the house keeping tick tock safe. Vixie, hello. Play the new God of War DLC. I have not played a single God of War game. Madison, welcome in. Welcome back. How you been? Madison, how you been? That's it. That's as far as I can get rapping. Allegra, hi, hi. Um, Guys, today I had what is potentially the most stressful day of my life. Uh, good stress, if there's a, such a thing. But uh, I can't go into any details, but a thing fell into my lap, not as a voice actor, but as a, a studio owner. Just one little one-off thing in the grand scheme of things. It's not a big deal, but it has the potential to lead to other things. And so I just wanted it to go very smoothly. And of course, it did not. <laughs> uh, but uh, hopefully, you know, overall it uh, went smoothly enough. Or I can riz them enough that they're like, yeah, we had some hiccups, but overall. So we'll see. 
Hey, what up? We got Spooky Mommy in the house. Oh, uh, Broccoli, which uh, con? Oh, heck yeah, Madison. Thank you, Dancer Gal. Yes, 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 thank you. The second I can talk about it, I will. Um, it's actually two things. Um, but uh, yeah, it was like this kind of thing happened. <clears throat> and this is the importance of networking, guys. So like when I go to cons, I try to set aside a day. There's gonna be a bunch of people from the family. Like I want to hang out with you guys. It's something I really, really wanna do. But some people are like, oh, well, what about like, can we just do it this day or some of us this day, some of that? And I'm like, you don't understand. Networking is crucial at these things. Like I, I'm there to see you guys. I'm there to see like my my uh, colleagues and, and, and voice actor friends and whatnot. But I'm also making connections, you know, making connections. And this literally, this thing that happened to me today is simply because of a connection I made at a convention, so. Raven, whoosh, thanks for the TikTok cap. Hang on. I meant to search for this last time. TikTok fitted cap and Twitch fitted hat cap. I want a Twitch. Oh, ah, custom name. Oh, Etsy, though. Excuse me. Yeah. If you guys ever, ever come across a Twitch cap and not a one-size-fits-all, a fitted cap, let me know. Jello, I don't dislike Etsy, but it's it's uh, it's one-size-fits-all. Snap. Like if it says snap back. Not gonna happen. It's gotta be fitted cap. Christmas wants some My Hero cosplay. Who do you want? Hey, Raven, appreciate ya. Sack and I'm okay. Right on, Broccoli. I'll see you there. Do you want a patch of a character embroidered for you? I craft. I like to make it. Oh, sure. You know what I need? I need more Isuzu Ichi no say stuff. Give it to me. All right, it's time for our, <clears throat> our, uh, it's been about what? So 17 minutes in the stream, it's time for the internet to go out. Huh? Maybe not. Um, but anyway. I got some trivia going on in the back. Uh, Dancer Gal, that's, I'm good at jinxing myself. This is one of your favorite games. Yeah, has anyone played this game? Super Liminal? Oh, this is a some trivia thing. Has anyone played this game? Super Liminal. Never heard of it. Played a little bit. I have not. Nope. No. Hey, what up, Queen Explosion Murder? Excited to see it. Oh, Broccoli. Uh, yeah, Space Battleship Tiramisu is the name of the anime. I thought you were talking about what's behind me. I was like, that is not anime. <laughs> yeah, trivia crack. Yeah. Clodster, hello. Yeah, I don't know. I have no idea what this, this game even is. Arknessa, what is this? Is it a puzzle game? Hey, Secret Admirer, drop a one to Queen Explosion Murder. Wouldn't you Oops. rather relax instead? You can really use a bath. <laughs> Welcome in. Welcome in. But anyway, if I seem like a little low key, I'm kind of mentally exhausted. Today was very stressful. Optical illusion game as you need to escape your mind. Manipulating your surroundings perspective wait so it's like manipulating your surroundings via perspective it's an optical illusion game 
as you need to escape your mind. Pretty much a puzzle game based on perspective. LMAO. I'm going to read all comments like this. That's all I can say. Otherwise, spoilers. Fart. It's very short, so you could definitely finish it in one playthrough. Like three hours tops. I saw a lot of the musical. Ah! <laughs> Hype train started. Hype train started. But <laughs> okay, hang on. But whole consumption. Por qué, señor Kyle? Por qué tienes que hablar así? Uh, así. ¿Qué quiere uh, decir así en inglés? Hey, Matt, how's it going, dude? You came across my FYP. You were singing in front of a piano, but I don't know if that's specific enough <laughs> for you. Hey, dancer gal, thanks for dropping one to Beth. Like that is Asi. Like that? Oh. I like that. Um. Hang on, man. Like literally, uh, I'm gonna be checking my phone a lot because this thing I'm talking about it is till eight, really, We're really almost eight thirty. So I'm gonna be like, but like I'm over the like intense part. Second from Hey Arnold. <laughs> That's right. Hey Rochelle, how's it going? Oh man, today was a day. What? No. Why is there ads coming? Starting early. Oh yeah. Hot cocoa with water or milk. Uh, milk if I can help it. I don't know. I guess you can you can do it, Matt. Um. Yeah. So I. Twitch is really trying to push this like ad manager thing and I didn't know this in like so tell me if you were like maybe our new sub or like maybe your sub laps for a little bit but I thought when I run an ad I run it at spe specific times when I'm taking a quick break so that you really don't miss anything but theoretically or potentially it's been running ads like an, a minute and a half of ads every 30 minutes does anyone know if that's accurate You get that too? I know. A minute and a half of ads every 30 minutes. Yeah, and no, the subs you won't know because you're ad free. But that's like, I was kind of looking through it and I was like, wait a minute. I'm like, is this true? <laughs> yeah, man. Okay, uh, Cassidy, welcome in. So then I was like, well, let's, if that's what's going on, let me look at the ad manager. And so I was like, okay, I, I set it so that every hour it's three minutes however it's asking me right now it's like ad starts in three minutes i'm like it hasn't even been a half hour um but they wanted me to do they were like you should really do this they wanted me to do every hour seven minutes seven minutes of ads an hour Seven minutes. So I do three minutes every hour because it's like that gives me a chance to stretch my legs, go to the bathroom. If I'm getting a snack, maybe I'm refilling my drink. And then all non-subs miss is 
uh words on the string you know that's it so i feel like that's i feel like that's a a fair trade-off seven minutes if it's if it's 30 second ads that's 14 commercials 14 commercials so i was like hell yeah no i was like absolutely not <laughs> that's crazy Uh, 14 minutes though i feel like that's there's no way oh what if i ow i think i just scratched myself um if you did not get a chance to watch the uh fortnite rhythm game stream i'm sorry but you'll never get a chance to watch it <laughs> because uh Twitch super muted the crap out of that VOD, and I moved it over to YouTube. Hang on, I haven't even looked though. Hang on, let's see. So I after after every stream, I just export over to YouTube that that VOD, and I just put it on my VOD channel. Oh man, my freaking ow! But this one. And immediately I get an email that's like, cannot be monetized. And I was like, yeah, I assume. Boy, boy. There you go, kite. All right, let's see. So. YouTube Stu Stu Studio. <laughs> guys zero is drop your zero mode zero is just killing it with these youtube uh thumbnails <laughs> okay let's see copyright how do i so this is after all the muted audio that Twitch had? Okay, actually, it's only three songs. Fall Out Boy, Rick Astley, and Switchblade. Okay, maybe I'll put it up on YouTube after all. It'll just be a really crappy VOD. <laughs> but speaking of... Speaking of... Uh, the YouTube thumbnails. Well, no, Liz, that was muted on Twitch. On YouTube, that they didn't catch that. They didn't flag that. Speaking of YouTube thumbnails, guys, new channel reward and tier three reward coming at you. I've been really liking uh, Zero's YouTube thumbnails. And I was like, hey, I have an idea. And I was inspired by the, uh, let's see, is it public? Okay, the most recent one. Yeah, let me, uh, oops, that's just gonna play it. Don't, please don't, please don't. Let me, okay, so this is, this is the most recent one, hang on. Yeah, Modern Warfare 3, check this out. Yeah, look at this. Look, it's so great. Sorry, TikTok. You're not going to get to see this. What the farts? Why isn't this working? Is that not Chrome? Oh, it's, <laughs> it helped if I turned on the, the source. <laughs> All right, so this is the most recent one, right? <clears throat> so, you know, it's just me <laughs> photoshopped on there. That's great. It's got the date. It's real simple. I was like, I, I'm a minimalist, so it's like I want simple but goofy. There you go, right? So that's the that's the thumbnail. What? Oh, there we go. <laughs> it's the uh, the thumbnail for the the vod, right? <clears throat> so I said, Hey, Zero, I have an idea. So. I noticed 
In addition to my face, right? We've got one, two, three, four others. So I'm gonna come up with a new channel reward. Starting now, so this is how this one's gonna be. But like, so let's say Friday, Warzone with viewers. Potentially, and I'm having him prioritize uh, goofy or fun or, or you know, good quality thumbnails. But if he happens to grab an image that's like this, where there's multiple Photoshop opportunities, uh, the first, you know, four people that re uh, redeem the reward, if they want, they will also be on the thumbnail. So I thought that would be cool. Uh, so it depends on, on the stream, on the game, and on the thumbnail. So it'll be one of those things where, like, let's say seven of you redeem it. All right? So I'll look at the first five or four, and I'll be like, uh... Uh, hey, you first four. Hey, what up, Sam? A resident ghost with the most. Uh, you know, first four that redeemed. I have four spots. Sorry, you other three. Refund, refund, refund. You four send zero uh, a picture of your face. And we're gonna see if we can make it happen. If it's too much work for zero, I'm gonna say, eh, never mind. But uh, yeah, I thought that this would be fun. We got raid. Drop the bats. Defend the BS tuna. Villainy and scum that has come to our honorable channel. BS tuna. Hey, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the family. And so ideally, it would be like I'd be like, all right, cool. So let's say. Beth, you, you send in one. I'd be like, I, Beth, I need you like looking like this. Look down a little bit. And like Matt's the next one. It's like, okay, Matt, I need you looking off. Give me one where you're looking off to the side a little bit, you know, so it's even easier for, for zero. Hey, BS Tuna, welcome in. Can I get a, a shout out for the tunes? Pokemon Scarlet Violet. Ah, oh, right on a Pokemon fan. Welcome in. Welcome in. Boop. Boop, are you from that stream? Thanks for the follow. Hello, hello. Welcome in. We're just we're just getting started. We're playing something called Super Liminal today. And now, so then the other side of it is uh, for the Tier 3 Tuesday thumbnails, regardless uh, of what we do, the Tier 3 will get to uh, be put in automatically. So, Arknessa... Please send me a selfie if you want. You can also, if you, uh, if there's like a profile picture that represents you or something else you don't want to, you don't necessarily want your face, uh, then you can send that as well. But it, so it'll be like, cool, Tier 3 Tuesday. Like, w you know, this person is Tier 3 Tuesday. So I think that'd be cool. Yeah, maybe Seraph. Yeah, I'll, I'm, I'm leaving it up to zero. The Cassidy, that is true. <laughs> Arknessa. Well, Arknessa, you also stream, so if you have, like, a stream logo or something that you'd want to add. And you don't have to. If you're, like, not interested, that's cool. No big deal. Like I said, I want this to be just something chill and easy for everyone. So, anyway. That would be cool. Um, I did see someone ask, do you have to play? I think that would be uh, ideal. So, if someone is like, oh, what's this? And they, like... Uh, You know they go in and listen they can hear like oh that was holy like oh that that, that must be him on the on the thumbnail because i'm hearing him play a lot oh that's nicole okay gotcha you know that kind of a thing so i think that would be it'll be a loose rule first group of people who play cod be on the youtube thumbnail i'm gonna have it be a a reward redemption because like i said because if like 12 people play or if like the first, like let's say the first group is six people, but there's only two other Photoshop faces or something like that, you know. So it'll just be whoever wants to and plays the game, they will be in order of reward redemption be included. I smell beef. So yeah. Anyway, Sierra Saxon, hello, it is Gaminari. 
Gamirani. Anyway. Guys, tomorrow, part two of the Mario RPG remake uh, Let's Play with voice acting. Part two goes up tomorrow night, probably. It's coming down to the wire. I got some pickups for it literally 10 minutes ago. Uh, so <laughs> it's uh, this one's coming in tight. Yeah, I still have to mix it. I still have to mix it. So it's like, OK, I have to mix it, right? But tomorrow morning, I have to go back to the studio and upload some files. Then we've got Penelope's Christmas party uh, at her school. Then we, I have a doctor's appointment at one. And then at two o'clock, I can start mixing it. <laughs> or so really like 2.30. And so I have to get it mixed and hope that it finishes uploading by seven o'clock. So probably not gonna happen. But even if it uploads a little late, I think that'll be better than nothing. So we'll see. But it's gonna be fun. Uh, I will say Jojo says Brie is in it. I'll spoil that for you guys. Jojo says Brie is our uh, our guest star. Um, we get to hear the voice of Gino. I wonder who that's gonna be. Uh, we got a lot of tadpoles. We get to hear Todd Habercorn, isn't it? Pomni, hello. Uh, Danny Chambers. Armando, uh, soon, actually. I'm, I need to like, I've cleaned up here. I got a few more things to add, move around. Uh, honestly, I'll probably wait till I get that. Once I get that, my, my LED thing, I'll, I'll do a little tour. Hey, what up, Crow? More Wake Campus Toad a little bit. He's in it a little bit. He's more in part four. Uh, who else is in it? Hang on. I feel like I'm missing someone. Oh, Chris Guerrero. Chris Guerrero is in it. Danny Chambers, like I said. Philip, of course, returning as Mallow. And uh, got a lot of tadpoles, toad people. Guys, I'm really excited for part three, though. <laughs> I can't wait for you guys to hear Chris George. It's so good. <laughs> Oh, nice, VV. Heck yeah. Now you got to watch it in Spanish so you can hear my cameo in the Spanish dub. Oh, I will. I will, Armando. All right. So in the battle of Taco Bell and McDonald's, you guys chose McDonald's. Gross. This came about because Kara was like, hey, she texted me. She's like, do you want McDonald's or Taco Bell? And I was like, neither. <laughs> I would rather have nothing. Yeah, Kristen. Yeah, that's what it is. I do, VV. Yeah, I'm in the Spanish OVA. Uh, Chris, I don't, he plays Pa Mole. Daddy Mole. He plays... Daddy Mole. More like Zaddy Mole. It's fine dining compared to McDonald's. I don't know. For me, it's like if you're like really uh, under the influence of something and it's like three in the morning, like Taco Bell, like, I'm fine and you'll regret it the next day. McDonald's just kind of sucks overall. Uh, except for their breakfast. The breakfast is I. Lake and yeah, I'm a Subway guy. Oh yeah, Kite, 100%. It's great.
Oh, yeah, Armando, I didn't. I thought they had a dollar menu. They don't have a dollar menu anymore. All right. Let's play this game. $3 menu. Shit. Yeah, I like Subway. Subway's fine. What the heck? Hey, what up, Abel? Welcome in. What did everyone's uh, Twitch recaps look like? Now, I was everyone's number one streamer, right? Hmm? Do I have mine? Let's see. Hello. I don't have one. I think I did. Did I not do mine? I thought I did. Oh, I did do mine. Okay. Number two. Ah, thank you, Don. Thank you, Beth. Oh, no worries, joking, Marshall. Welcome in. Why, Liz? Why? I appreciate you, Abel. That's right. Numero uno. That's related to Zelda randomizers. <laughs> Oh, your number one was Rico? Is that true? How does that make any sense? Oh, nice, Marshall. Heck yeah. Here, let's look at mine. How do you do... Okay, wait, here's my recap. Let's look at my recap. Nope. Oh, 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 oh. oh, okay. Thought I just broke NDA. I did not. Ooh. Your year well played. I press start. Okay. I watched 41.3 thousand hours 330 oh oh that's people watch my streams for 41,000 hours 330 streams Let's see what's up Armando I do four a week what the farts Oh, I guess they're counting overtime as well. Five categories? Huh? Over 3,000 clips? Oh, I don't know, Armando. Give me the secret. Top stream reached 848 viewers. What stream was that? Hey, Jokey Marshall, appreciate you. Top five. Oh, wait a minute. Oh. Top five categories. Just chatting? Smash Bros, Modern Warfare 2, Warzone, Stardew Valley. Top three tags. I just never change those. <laughs> How's that possible? How is that possible? Unreal. <laughs> These other ones make sense, sense A, A, B. <laughs> hey, what up, John? Stop it, you guys. Well, it looks like tier threes are going to get a holographic foil rare daisy main next. Uh... Oh, at the beginning of the year. 
Well, so is this... Hang on. Well, anyway. Oh, yeah, that's the only one I featured. Bonus achievements. What are the... What are these? Goals reached? What? No, oh, Allegra, dang. Oh, heck yeah, Armando. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Almost 20 million channel points spent. Dang, you guys. You guys crushed it. Oh, sub goals, follow goals. Oh, I see. Gotcha. Okay. 168 raids sent. Oh, I received a lot more raids than I sent. You know, we basically just met you, so it's kind of telling that we all know your personality is flaming crap mixed with garbage. You are exhibiting signs consistent with an increase in fear, hopelessness, and frustration. Beep, beep, beep. Hey, what up, Don? Don dropping a thousand bits. Don dropping a dropping a thousand bits. Don dropping a thousand bits. Don dropping a thousand bits. Don dropping a thousand bits. Appreciate you, Don. No, it was Daisy Marshall, unfortunately. Oh, yeah. Cassie, I did pitch him up a little bit, but he got pretty high on his own. Oh, my loudest fans. What does this mean? Lexi, not surprised. <laughs> Marcus, Philip, Kite, Don, Nicole, Liz, Lakin, Bananas. What does that mean? Thank you for playing. Ooh, goat, mo goat, emoji. Nice. Oh, there you go. I just streamed my recap. Okay. <laughs> You're welcome. Thanks for the follow. Welcome to the Hey, May Jones, welcome in. <laughs> Phasmophobia. Oh, probably just because of JoJo. So those are the ones I use the most. Oh. Yeah, I watched a lot of Kami. <laughs> okay. I know, rip the twerk. Gracie, hello, how's it going? Grout, which one it was? Wait, what are you talking about? Oh yes, no, it was a, uh, it was the Daisy. It was the Daisy one. Grace, have you played this game? Super liminal. I know, Lakin. I think once the update drops, I will uh, maybe get back into Stardew. Oh, Nicole, you actually, like, watch Moist Critical. Oh, look at that. Nicole's a real one. One of her top three emotes was the Daisy Sucks gif. Thank you, Nicole. <laughs> Blast. <laughs> Who are you talking to, me? There you go. Animal Crossing. No, I'm not interested. <laughs> yeah, Lexi. You're welcome, Blast. <laughs> Here, I'm just going to be an ASMR streamer now. Oh, speaking of, I need to schedule Kara's.
<laughs> Grippers, what up? They can... No. Absolutely not. All right, let's play this game. Um, everyone... Probably not Cassidy. I've played the newest Paper Mario and I dropped it. <laughs> ah, Gracie, I, uh, I would accept anything. As long as it's goofy and funny, I'm down. All right, everyone. If you're a follower and up, spam your AAB emotes. One of the top five emotes of the year. Um, on TikTok, if you're a subscriber, you can spam your AABs. And if you're tier three on Twitch, you can spam... At holographic foil rare AABs. But everyone join me IRL in raising an age appropriate beverage. So that we may cheers to a good and fun ding stream. Cheers. Clink. That's tequila and orange LaCroix. I'm out of beer and I'm out of whiskey. <clears throat> what? Yeah, great. I was just saying. As long as it's fun and goofy, I'll take whatever. Ooh, nice to go. I know, Lexi. Arlia, how's it going? <laughs> Lania, hello. From a Walmart parking lot. All right. Get ready to spam your bit emotes. Oh, Arknessa, thanks for the 21 bitch here. Oh, yeah, here, wait. Another one for Arknessa, guys. Spam your AABs and your holographic AABs and raise your age appropriate beverages. For Arknessa, 21 bit cheer, cheers! Clink! Marcus, is that true? I don't think he was that old. What happened? 61. What happened? Wow. Brief illness. Oh my God. Dude, literally Captain Holt is like one of my favorite characters in all of television. So funny. Man, rip. That's brutal. 61. My God. All right. You're ready to spam your bit emotes. And please rise for the family anthem. Let's go! Anus snake. <laughs> No, Ashley, we're not doing this again. So quickie with the boys. Yelling. Oh, it's Margaret! one off. We'll be back <laughs> really soon. Has sub only chat been on this whole time? <laughs> oh no! Everyone can talk now! So amazing! <laughs> John, 
I know, I need to change that. I keep forgetting. All right, in fact, hang on. Grace, you hadn't seen that before. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> All right. I don't know what this is. Uh, Cassie, that was... Uh, that's Aaron Does Audio. Aaron Willis. He is a wonderful man and a very talented human being. Are you filled with feelings of self-doubt? Do you find yourself prone to minimizing massive dilemmas? Or for allowing the smallest problems to get blown completely out of proportion? At the Pierce Institute, our patent-pending somnoscope technology provides safe and effective dream therapy while you rest in the comfort of our flagship clinic. Located right next to the secondary overflow parking lot at the University Medical Center. Somnoscope will make your dreams come true. Hey, Dom, thanks for dropping one to, to Grace. Mesha, thank you for four months. Appreciate you. Grace, drop all the emotes you now have. I don't even know what I signed. I feel like, is this just like Stanley Parable? But I can jump in this game? Hell yes. Already better than Stanley. Alright, everyone, spam your your sorry game pieces. Oh gosh. Hey, fellas. Hey. Hey. No. No, no. David Blaine, no. 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 I was dancing with the street magic special. You wanna see some magic? <laughs> Can I make it even bigger? Oh! <laughs> How big can I make this? What happens if I let it land on me? <laughs> How big can I make this? <laughs> How do I make it tiny? Terms of service accepted. Congratulations on falling asleep. 
Welcome to Somnasculpt. Your progress may be monitored by qualified specialists. This orientation will adapt you to eyelids, our interactive, lucid induction dream state in which you retain full consciousness and control. Hey, Choo Choo! Seven months! Yeah, uh, good luck on your paper. <clears throat> Alright. Can I, like, copy and paste these? Oh, wait, wait, hold. Right click to rotate. Ah. I want it to stand up. Is there a way to... I want it to be right side up. Freeze-dried Skittles. Interesting. Is there a way to make it stand up? Throw it? Oh, no. Throw it? How do you throw it? Is it Bishop is right here? Oh. <laughs> John. something from in there. Oh, weird. Confirmed. You can move freely, interact with surrounding objects, and listen to messages from your patient care team. Please note that I am the standard orientation protocol, and that my voice has been explicitly chosen to remind you that I am not a part of your patient care team. <laughs> I do not care. Okay. Oh, so this is like Stanley Parable meets Portal. Okay, that doesn't help me though. I don't need to just rotate it. I need to rotate it a specific way. Oh, just like that. Oh, no, stop. a specific way. Why wouldn't it just let me rotate it that way? Look! 
Oh, wait. Good lord! Oh, it needs- it wants me to make this a ramp, okay. Is that- I thought it wanted me to add it to- Oh, God! I wanted me to add it. It's, I, it's, I don't think this is getting any bigger. There we go. Wait, can I grab this while I'm on it? Ah, <gasps> oh, no! Okay. Damn. Oh no, I made it super small. During eyelids, you will lose the ability to awaken suddenly due to realizing that this is a dream. What's up, Evidence, Layla? I have already informed you that this is a dream. You did not wake up. Hey, Please complete the remaining orientation activities. Overlord Allegra, welcome in. Nicole with the 500 biddies. Oh, you did the David Blind thing. Nice. Warning, you have deviated from the orientation pathway. At the Pierce Institute, patient safety is a keynote in our corporate priority tetrahedron. A variable degree of force cannon will be authorized to ensure patient safety. Please return to the orientation pathway. Baking soda? Oh, cause she's the best, Gracie. Hey, can I do anything right there? Should I go back? I need to make this smaller. Because I think I do. There we go. Grace, have a good one. this even smaller. Did I do it? How do I get it in there? Hey, Rocka Swift, how's it going? There we go. All environments perceived during eyelids should reflect a typical mental state. If you believe your mental state was compromised by Somnasculpt, please provide a comprehensive, rational explanation in your post-procedural survey. Completed surveys may be eligible for a gift card. <laughs> Why do they give this to me? Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. How do you throw something? How do you throw something? If you can.
Because I think I can put that over the wall. Yeah. Oh, in fact, I think I need to. Hey, what up, Zero? Oh, wait, there we go, there we go. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! No! How do I go back? Rocket Swift, I always come back. Uh oh. Uh oh. What do I do now? Take that sign from over here. What? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Can I put that there? to land perfectly. Ah! Damn. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna pick it up like this. Maybe this will be... Damn it. Make it fill the room? Oh, duh! Wait, how do I make it like. Actually, it falling over. There we go. That's. Oh, but then it writes itself. Wait, how do you make it fill the room? Ah, oh, just barely got it. Okay. Don't fall over. Please stand by for polite recognition on your completion of the Somna Sculpt hey, orientation. Yo. You did it. To maximize the time allotted for your therapeutic journey, please do not delay in proceeding through the final doorway as indicated. Cheese. Oh, Cheese. Someone play that blurp of cheese. Cheese. Like a, th a million times or something. Wait, or if I... Okay, hang on. That was a big clunk. It's a satisfying clunk. 
Cheese. Cheese. Yeah, there you go. Sorry, hang on a second. Actually, real quick. It's quick, quick break time. Burbles, have fun playing words on stream. I will return momentarily. Au revoir. Au revoir. Oh, guys, we got a raid. Drop the bats. First. <laughs> hey, Taru, Dragon Raid, hello. Uh, Brand Brand, it comes out in spring 2024, so like a couple weeks before that, we'll start working on that. I don't think Deki's going to be in much of season seven, though. You did, Taru. Thanks for the raid. Appreciate you. I'm taking a quick break. I'll be right back. Hey, Raiders, you get to play Words on Stream. BRB. Kyle they don't Phillips. go to the score, but yeah, you can get like in game currency for doing the oh. tasks. Oh, well, I don't care. Yeah, yeah, no. So I don't know why Chaos didn't mention that they were in jail. No. Wait, 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 wait. What? How did that just happen? Hey, what? thanks for the sub. I appreciate your support. What happened? Oh, wait. Wait, <laughs> wait. Oh, because they can't report. Oh, wait. They... Huh? Wait, the jail's open now. What? What? <laughs> hmm? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> wait, Chaos, why didn't you report the body? Yeah. All right, let's do. A little... what the hell was that? Did you guys hear that? What? No. Sam. <laughs> <laughs> All right, time to. Ready. Ready. <laughs> Eight seconds left. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Like, eight seconds left. Like, does. Oh, how do I? Oh, that's so scary. Run, June, run. Do you have the bomb? How do I know if I have a bomb? It'll say you have the bomb. Do you have the bomb? Oh, June. Exno, give it to you. Fuck, wait for you to get it. Do it. With the knock, knock, yeah. knock. Let's uh, go. Uh, Are you stuck on a task or something? Okay, so uh, I watched this one. This was Kyle. I watched him kill a person and then hop in the vent that was literally right next to it. Well, hold I on. Are you no, 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 hold on. Cause I'm free! 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 free falling. Oh, no. It's no freaking way. <laughs> no way! Are you serious? Are you serious? <laughs> oh, I heard a snapshot. I didn't know if it was you, Kyle or not. No, it was not me. Alright, I'm on. Oh god, there's someone in Quasi! Help me! Ah, holy I'm right there, he's in the corner! He's really low, though. Cole, you can push on him, he's really low. Ah. He's right now. He's Here we go no! again. No! Ashley, we're not doing this again. And the key's right there! Oh, we have like barely any. Oh, we're being shot at. <laughs> Somebody's on top of the black site. No! <laughs> oh, that by Kyle. Oh, God! Get out! Get in! I just got back. Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Helicopter's dead. Oh, shoot! What? No. Your tasks are fake. They don't go to the score, but yeah, you can get like. Good in-game currency for doing the tasks oh. oh well i don't care yeah yeah no, no. so i don't know why chaos didn't mention that they were in jail no! wait 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 what how did that just happen what what happened oh wait <laughs> wait oh because
Because they can't report. Oh, wait. They... Huh? Wait, the jail's open now. What? What? Huh? Yeah! Uh, <laughs> wait, Chaos, why didn't you report the body? Yeah. All right, let's do a little... What the hell was that? Did you guys hear that? What? No. Sam! <laughs> right, time to ready. Ready? Lexi. Well, he got eight seconds left. Come on. <laughs> God Phillips is the greatest alive. All right, we back. Back. Oh yes, that's right. I feel like we've hit the back door. Ah, oh, thank you. How was your stream, Toru? What were you streaming? I don't think I ever saw <laughs> cheese. Why do I keep getting attracted? Just so catching good look I cannot explain this reaction. Band out of hello, thank you, thank you. Soon entered the back. Hey, what up, Rock? Hey, there we go. I feel like I could, like, I need to put this, like, there. No? And it'll pry open the door? Or can I just, like... Bushi from the Monsters and Lethal Company. Alright, is everyone playing... Lethal Company? Do I need to play Lethal Company? Is that a multiplayer game? Like, is it like Among Us? <clears throat> Alright, how do I... Do I just, like, push the cheese at this? No, because that'll just change the perspective. jam this cheese in there. The closer you are, the bigger it gets, and the further you are, the smaller it is. Am I on the right track, though? I gotta, like, use the cheese to pry these open or something or knock them down? I am officially stuck. Help me. Help me. Give me a big hint. You can push any door. The one you see is a lie. Oh, hold on a second then. Let's go back out here. Wow, full giant. Stand on the button and knock the brick wall over? Giant cheese. <laughs> knock over the wall. How do I knock over the wall, though? It just gets small. How do I, like, there's no way to... I tried, I didn't see, like, I didn't have the little hand that popped up. 
Uh, Sora, this is lumin luminaria or luma subliminal. Or like, do I just like drop it like next to the walls? Let's see, it looks like this one's about to fall over, so I just... Maybe? Oh, okay, that did something, hang on. That's kind of budging. Maybe this one. That one's blocked. Ah, there we go. Bring my cheese with me. Ah, it was blocked. Cheese. For that taking so long, that deserves a Band Attic sponsored. <laughs> Drop your dumb tank. Hey, what's up, Faye? <laughs> All right. Um, I'm the clever one. You're, you're the potato, potato one. one. What up, Tim? <laughs> Wake camp stream of giant baby Del. Uh, baby Del? Baby Bell. We camp is skiing this week. Dreaming, that's right. Eddie loves E, right on. I won. Why do I have an alarm for 3 a.m.? Smash that alarm. Hell yeah. Sweet G, sweet A. Let's see, I was in sweet F. if I'm not supposed to be awake yet. Baking soda. fire alarms to go off. Okay. Oh, weird. <laughs> Can I do anything up here? Hey, 
my hero nerd, welcome in. Come on. circle. <laughs> yeah, I know, Moogs. <laughs> All right. What is this? What is this? Oh, that's the door. Get off me. I, would, I love a Krabby Patty, except I'm allergic to crab. What the farts? <laughs> What's up, Valerie? What's up, N NSM? Am I supposed to make like a ramp up there? Oh. Oh no. Whoops. Suz the Ace, welcome in. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'd like to talk to you about being special. So special, in fact, that we have no idea where you are. But not to worry, we're working on it. Uh, is this the same room? I guess so. Excuse me, fire alarm. 
One of these is gonna go off. I have a feeling one of them's gonna go off. I think so, Seraph. two cubes. Oh, that might be too big. Oh, nice. Oh, I might need two cubes. Alright, so how do I get... It's a vase. So where's some... Ah, there it is. What? How do I get that? It's like just to get at. Oh, ah, hold on. Yeah, there it is. Okay, oh, okay, all right. Interesting. Ashley, hello. <laughs> yeah, for real. Welcome in. What brings you here? How'd you find me? Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. So I don't think it's over here. Oh, for God. Okay, okay, hello. Or 
Where's the cube blocking? This cube will be very useful, I believe. Uh -oh. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'm just popping in to give you a quick update on where you are. We still don't know, but please keep moving forward, and hopefully you prefer frequent updates to being reminded that you are completely lost. <laughs> Thanks, Dr. Peace. All oh, right, on, Nullify. Welcome in. I guess it is, Tim. That looks interesting. I am Deku Ship. Now, hold on. Should I go that way, the way I just revealed, or should I go up there? You guys pick. Up or across? Where should I go? stand on this oh nice find the nook and optical arm oh what is that a special die outside oh come on I just found this cool new guy hello. hello my name is dr. Glenn Pierce and we still can't find you but you should now have access to a series of elevators that should trigger your subconscious to gradually wake you up you should also find a variety of emergency exit signs that should lead you to them. Will all of this work? Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, roll for initiative is D20, right? Please, come on, I want one of these to work. I assume it's not a dead end.
can't bring cube, can I? No, because of this thing. Cube is long gone. The moon. Am I gonna take the moon? Is there a moon out there? No way! <laughs> My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. In the event that this elevator does not wake you up, please don't interact with anything that strikes you as psychologically significant, as we will no longer have any way of controlling it. For example, if you see your parents, please punch them in the face as hard as you can and immediately run away. <laughs> And we take the moon, and we take the moon. You've finally taken the moon, y'all. Easy breezy. Uh, Faye, this is super liminal. Oh, now it's 4 a.m. Still sweet F. Fire alarms still don't work. Still got soda. Soda. <clears throat> what is it new? This is an automated message for all patients who attempted to use an alternate pathway to access the next phase of Somnasculpt therapy, but who have become trapped in a dream state paradox instead. Your decisions imply a failure of orientation, which reflects negatively on the standard orientation protocol. You will rectify this failure immediately. Uh, guys, drop all your Arknes emotes if you're tier 3. Everyone drop your little sorry game pieces. SLs. In celebration of uh, Arknesa picking the game. Arknesa, have a good day at work. Wait, what? That's Sweet B. Sweet F is... a dream? If so, I am totes jelly. I appreciate it. 
appreciate your support. This exit is this way. Hey, Rollo Combo, 37 months. Hell yes. Pay attention to the signs. They are quite caution. Professional tip, the average adult can only withstand three to five dreams per night. Once this threshold is eclipsed by entering more dreams, your mind will suffer an explosive mental overload, reorienting you for the emergency exit protocol. Please subject yourself to explosive mental overload. Explosive mental overload. That sounds gross. to do something with this? Oh, that's just how I get out. note that a reluctance to volunteer for the risks associated with explosive mental overload implies a misunderstanding of all other oh. solutions, all of which are far more traumatic and likelier to result in catastrophe. I am not capable of suboptimal suggestions. Please exit this dream as soon as possible. of misunderstandings every day. Yeah, John, heck yeah. Will one of these please work? That's all I want is to set off the fire alarm. That's all I've ever wanted. Oh. I'm sorry.
Wait, what? <laughs> I've been here before. Cankles. Zerata, was that a, uh, oh my gosh, what movie is that? That's a, uh, what's his face, old movie with time traveling? Is this Five Nights at Freddy's? At 6 a.m. does the game end? Wait, are we still Sweet F? Still Sweet F. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and despite touring the Waterfall Serenity Zone in the previous section you've just completed, you may still be experiencing feelings of worthlessness and self-doubt. Why do I feel like everything is going wrong, even when the sun is shining? said is this five nights at freddy's <laughs> Kendall, hello. Just catch up. Oh. Lion, I'm feeling a little creepy, or not, I'm not feeling creepy, I'm feeling a little creeped out, I guess I should say. A little pie. Please. God. Just give me a fire alarm, that's all I want is a fire alarm. I just want the fire alarm to go off, please. Shut the 
Sunday's beans. Okay, so this is the same. How do I go around? What up, Mansion? Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'd like to talk more about the feelings of worthlessness and self doubt I mentioned before. You feel this way because you want the kind of happy life you see all around you, the kind you know everyone else is enjoying. And that's exactly why we're here to help. So what's the deal with, like, soda and chess pieces, dice? So does he have, like, a diet soda addiction and he's a gambler? But he's also really smart, plays a lot of chess? I was supposed to be, like... In this together. Have you, have you guys noticed? So we're in this creepy part. That's when Arknessa leaves. <laughs> Arknessa's like, oh, I gotta go to work. <laughs> hey, what up, blind cosplays? Emily, thanks for the tiny dinies. Oh, hi, Arknessa. Warning. You were advised to subject yourself to explosive mental overload by descending into addition. Can I just say, does anyone else, is anyone else as immature as me and every time she says explosive, I think she's going to say diarrhea right afterward? Anyone? Is it just me? <laughs> dreams but have now descended into a dream within a dream instead disorienting yourself even further you are responsible for failing to make this crucial distinction oh I can like use this as a flashlight is that the purpose or do I need to just get rid of these Zarada, yeah. Am I supposed to be like using this as a flashlight or? Damn it, Arknessa, why? Why have you done this to me? This would be a cool haunted house, though. 
No! No! I thought that was in the game. Okay. <laughs> I forgot about this part. response yeah uh, and this is super liminal there's gotta be like a secret I feel like there's something right here it just randomly got spooky I've been to uh, the UK for a convention a couple times. Uh, it'll probably be a little while before I go back, just to kind of you know, spread the love a little bit. There, at least get some, some, ah! Skater, welcome in. Did you know that unintentional multi dream layering occurs in less than 1% of patients? This correlates strongly with the 99% of patients who are able to follow simple instructions from the standard orientation protocol. The knife disappeared. It is just paint. Oh my gosh. Uh -oh, guys. Why was it so creepy? The bats. Defend the channel from this villainy and scum that has come to our honorable channel. Hey, Renny, how's it going? Party starting soon? Tech! That's right, it's Sunday. Yeah, heck yeah, Tim. Zach, thanks for the raid. How was your stream? What were you playing? Can I assume Minecraft? You just literally missed the creepy part. break he was a scatter boy 
sir. See you later, boy. All right. When we get back, is this the final night? Is this Five Nights at Freddy's, 6 a.m.? Find out after this break. Good luck on words on stream. Verbals. Boyables. Like you and two other people. Yes, you guys got this. Come on. Give me my sniper back. I think they're on your roof, maybe. Hey, it's gonna be the final circle in 30 in 30 seconds. Let them fight it out. Yeah, okay, it's you and one person. If you got kill streaks, use them now. I don't have any, unfortunately. Oh, right there on the roof! Oh. He's dropping down, dropping down. Let's go! Nice. Nice. Uh, no, don't land on me! Oh god! Ugh. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! I said don't land on me! No, stop! No, you see! <laughs> oh, that's a light. I'm heading. I'm following you from the air, Kyle. Watch out! There's somebody that landed near you. I'm dead over here. I'm about to die. I'm literally right in front of you. Bro, we gotta get out of here. Gas and all that fun stuff. Oh, oh. Okay. oh no 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 run away run away run away not not happening not happening damn it dang it Kyle I was trying to go for Lexi oh, Alright <sighs> 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 Tis the season to be spicy. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Right. Oh, damn it! Oh, oh nice. I think that's the one we'll be skipping three. Just two left. Nice. Double. All right, level seven Two. on next. Yeah, I don't know what to do. 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 Yeah, I don't know what he can dance a little lightning. All right. Uh, so it's just like Among Us. Same thing. There's, uh, you know, you just kind of run around and do tasks, um, and uh, try not to be killed if someone gets murdered. Where'd she go? <laughs> My usual microphone isn't working. It's <laughs> June, I was explaining how to play. Which is fine by me. Wait, why did you? Because you walked away from me. Oh, yeah, it does that? It's, yeah, it's prox it's chat. Prox chat. <laughs> it's proxy chat. Get away <laughs> I'm like explaining the game and you're just like, bye. <laughs> Chris, you better do my last name in vain. <laughs> Is what Lexi oh. said. <laughs> you mean, you mean don't do it in vain? <laughs> you better do it in vain. <laughs> <laughs> I'm mail I'm and confused melt. right now. Oh, she well, wants you to do poorly. And melt. Neat. EAT. EAT. Something. Oh, there you go. Meta. Neat. Something between T and I want you to get forth in vain. Teat. T-E-A-T. We need help, Rocker. We're bringing two people with us. <laughs> oh! Oh, no! Oh, no! <laughs> All right, you guys will be on level 11 for overtime. Now, 47, <laughs> Lexi, 42. <laughs> oh, oh, my God! <laughs> 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 my God. <laughs> All right, still sweet F.
Please. That's all I want. Wait, diet soda. It says no service ever. <laughs> It stands perfectly straight up. That's cool. Oh, look. They're bolted to the ground. <laughs> One. Oh, thank you, Ashley. Yeah, yeah, it's back to being cute and sweet. Hey, Lord Skate! Hey, Bat, how's it going? Hey, jumping up to tier two? Nice, thank you so much. Don't forget to drop those new emotes. Attention, Dr. Pierce requires you to note the following risks of dream overexposure. Significant memory loss, both quantitative and qualitative. Hallucinations of dreaded or annoying objects. Unrealistic beliefs about the lengths of hallways. And other side effects which have not yet been discovered or which cannot be understood. Beeping. Someone just tell me what to do because this beeping is going to drive me crazy. Hurry, just tell me what to do. You're welcome. That was... Ah. Oh, now they, they're not even on. Perception is reality. March 1991. Oh, yeah, I did me too.
Solving world hunger. Wait, so let's blow me. I don't know, Grace. I have no idea. Oh, look, now they're changing colors. That was a fail sniper. Dr. Pierce is frantically submitting numerous spelling and grammar mistakes into the standard orientation protocol in a desperate attempt to counsel you. I have no subroutine to correct these errors, but I cannot compromise the integrity of the standard orientation protocol. You will not receive these messages. They would not make sense regardless. Try me. Attention, Dr. Pierce continues to input significant errors. I will interpret his basic ideas. Hello, my introductions are redundant. I am a real doctor who went to doctor school. VR has never been a mistake. I can help you, but I also do not know how. Transmission ends. It's a, why is it a box? Oh, it's a vending machine. Hello. Hello. Name is my Pierce Dr. Glenn. To the Somnusculpt Welcome Experience, team of your care leader, patient years 10 development. Conditions struggle you whatever with? Professional invention. Age science with cutting, a tomorrow can bright. And but no if. <laughs> Loading? Loading! <laughs> Seven AM, all right. Relaxation room. Sweet D, we're not in Sweet F anymore. Fair Sweet F. Okay, we've never been on this side. If I was in that chair right there, I 
I'd be out in five minutes. <laughs> the sweet Nicole can never go in because of the lack of a D key. <laughs> Only people with working D keys can go in sweet D. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, uh, how do I... is Dr. Glenn Pierce. This is a notification that you have reappeared on our monitoring system after a prolonged absence. Please continue to do whatever you did most recently and discontinue whatever you were doing immediately prior to that. It disconnected for a sec, what? Back at Sweet F? Excuse me. There's nothing at Sweet F. What do you mean? Sweet as F. <laughs> oh, we're back again. Okay. <laughs> Oh! Alright, so we are still dreaming. <laughs> Fragile. Golly! I almost turned into, uh... The Wicked Witch of the West. Am I right? Look at- everything is all big. So I have to exit and make this even bigger? Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. In addition to continuing and discontinuing as mentioned earlier, please also disregard any unsettling experiences that you may have recently had. Everything should have now reverted to being soothing and therapeutic. 
If this is not the case, you may be receiving this message in error. <laughs> Wait, can I plug this into the wall? Just a live wire. Jenga? I want to play Jenga. <laughs> I can just jump through it. Oh no, I made it way too big. Oh, that's weird. Oh, I needed to make it big though. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'd like to read you my favorite inspirational quote by me. The worst thing you can do is focus on negativity. It won't spare you from the cage of death, the pain of disease, the cruelty of time, the cold shell of human nature, or the eventual loss of everything you've ever held dear. Whatever you do, don't focus on that. Probably just a brick wall. Oh, no, it's not. There's a way to get up there. Oh, that's just the high dive. Uh, 
something. Hold on, though. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. Let's go up here first. But this is what I'm inside of right now. Oh, there is a door up there. I do, I do. I'll see you uh, Thursday if you want to come by. Um, dead. How did I get up there? I feel like it's bigger this time. Grace, have a good one. Thank you, Ashley. <laughs> that makes way more sense. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'd like to thank you for triggering every single one of our 823 emergency protocols. This will assist us greatly in improving the system for future patients. Congratulations. Anyway, you're now headed in the right direction, and we should be able to initiate the emergency exit protocol shortly. stack this on top of that one. Oh. On top of it. On top of it. No! Ah! 
Now! Maybe, maybe. Damn it. Ah! <laughs> yeah, suck it. Oh, shit. Uh-oh, 3 a.m. Did I mess up? Emergency exit protocol initiated. Please prepare to conclude your Somnasculpt experience in 10, 9, 8. Error. Error logged by. Orientation protocol. Stand by for analysis. Error analysis complete. You are exhibiting signs consistent with an increase in fear, hopelessness, and frustration. This is inconceivable, as somnasculpt therapy is proven to correlate with a decrease in these emotions. Well, it's happening. Yes. Hypothesis. Patient was improperly oriented. Conclusion. Impossible. <laughs> Reformulating. Improved hypothesis. Patient requires additional somnasculpt therapy. Conclusion. Emergency exit protocol cannot proceed. Emergency exit protocol has been emergency destroyed. Instruction, continue with Somnasculpt therapy indefinitely on an independent basis, as all orientation resources have been exhausted. This concludes your standard orientation protocol. Goodbye. What? When sweet F again. Chrissy, wake up! <laughs> Diet soda. <laughs> oh.
My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. Thank you for completing the Somnisculpt Standard Orientation Protocol. Before you begin the first phase of therapy, I'd like to briefly describe the finite and fragile nature of the dream state. get to that point. Of course, nothing is more challenging than the difficulty of changing perspective, of fundamentally altering your perceptions in a way that will enable you to face dire, trial-by-fire scenarios with solutions that could not be found otherwise. <laughs> this is a Christopher Nolan prank.
try. I don't seem to be able to make really this any bigger. respect the unique progress of Not every patient, you must understand that it is possible to completely exhaust your supply of dreams, thereby entering a state in which you will not be able to wake up, even with the help of triggering mechanisms. Now I'm, pl oh. <laughs> now I'm playing some creepy game <laughs> called Subliminal. because I'm holding it. What? <laughs> what? Perception is not reality. Nice. is happening ah! use the sync carefully for the sound of an alarm clock which will automatically play if you are approaching a destabilizing dream weight. I just want to wake up, <laughs> please. Hey, what up, flute? I can't avoid Gojo. Rachel, hello. Uh, it's not scary. It's like creepy. Uh, hey, Betsy, thanks for another 20 biddies. <sighs> oh. If someone donates 10,000 million biddies. I will do the new meta, Twitch meta, and do a topless stream and make him clap. Oh, my bedroom. Oh, maybe it's not loading. Oh my god, Rachel, how are you? Oh, it's super loading. It has, Betsy, how you been? <clears throat> this is highly unusual. It appears you have entered the Sonasculpt Diagnostic Framework. Patients do not have access to this dream. What? What? Betsy. 
Or wait a minute. Does this like fit right there? Uh, no, maybe not. No? Diagnostic warning. Unrealistic use of dream objects may result in dream integrity fail states. states, states. Come on. What up, Rocker? I don't know, Betsy. What up, Tanuki? What? Any ideas? Called Jungle's Management. Music too loud. Scent of burned curry. Shipment of food coming here. Don't have space from where I ask if they can hand out flyers for testing. Huh. On the right track. Or wait a minute, so do I like go in? Okay, I have an idea, I have an idea, so yeah. I like make this real small. Oh wait. And then, how do I make this even smaller? We're going to the party. Let's go jungles. Diagnostic warning. warning. Paradox prevention protocols may not be fully implemented. Implemented. I assume I needed to be this small to go in one of these buildings, but maybe that's not the case? What would being that small do for me? Nothing. Jello, have a good one. <clears throat> Denki voice? Wouldn't you rather relax instead? You could really use a bath! Diagnostic warning. warning. Paradox prevention protocols may not be fully implemented. Implemented. What does being this small get me? <gasps> I smell big. So I'm about to go find out. Slowly but surely. 
Oh, shit. It's 10 o'clock, man. It's time to end. How much longer do we have in the game? If we're close, we might just do this for overtime and finish it. A uh, Deku Kun, that would definitely be Mitsuki Bakugo. Nine hours. Diagnostic warning. warning. Paradox prevention protocols may not be fully implemented. Implemented. I do. <laughs> uh, Yoshi's Island skater. Any ideas? Near the end, hidden house. Diagnostic warning. warning. Paradox prevention protocols may not be fully implemented. implemented. Near the end, hidden house? Hey, thanks for the sub. Hey, uh, Kelsey Corny, yeah, let's go! Now ultra tiny. <laughs> All right, yeah, restart level or reset the checkpoint. This is highly unusual. It appears you have entered the Sonasculpt diagnostic framework. Patients do not have access to this dream. that open up? I guess when I go through it this way. Diagnostic warning. Unrealistic use of dream objects may result in dream integrity fail state state states. in your hand then walk through the portal it will cause a corruption as it's a portal inside a portal oh okay oh whoa <laughs> please paradox from creating any refrains explosive dream overload, overload. 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 may result please paradox overload
I'm free. Cool, uh -huh. oh. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, <laughs> and many years ago. I had a dream. I found myself in a place where I understood that each of us begins as nothing. Where everything I perceived was shaped by seeing it exactly the way I wanted to. It says deception. White space. Oh, none of them have ever exploded before. I just want to set off the fire alarm. That's all I've ever wanted to do in this whole game. I just want to set off the fire alarm! Please! No! No! Yeah! This is, this is just purgatory. We're dead. We're just waiting to go to heaven or hell. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, at least I can jump in this game. But in white space, I also faced the greatest challenge I could imagine. Because with a lifetime of life itself behind me, and all of the weight that it carried, I realized that seeing things the way I wanted to was not as easy as it used to be. What a fatal frame. I'm going up. This is it.
Two doors. All right. Blue and red or white and red? Go. Blue and red or white and red? Fish stick, thanks for the 11 roses. Blue and red or white and red? Blue or white? Blue or white? Looks like most people pick blue. Periwinkle Blue. You're well beyond dreaming now, and further out than anyone has ever come back from. But we hope that you won't get discouraged. After all, if this is a place of pure perspective, isn't it also a place where a different point of view could make anything possible? Isn't that why you came here? setting something on it, it therefore becomes real. Oh, God! I almost made the same mistake. sound. Alright, I'm 
stuck because I can't get up there. stuck. No, this is the checkpoint right here. <clears throat> Jump to the O? The zero? through the doorway. This, I can't. This is not a doorway. Oh, wait a minute. I, ah, yes! Ah, then the doorway becomes real. Yes, Coop! Am I finally going to wake up? Oh, it's almost 8 a.m. Why is my alarm set for 7.59? Yeah, fatal frame, yeah.
My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and by now, you may have realized that all of this has happened exactly the way it was supposed to. You see, everyone who comes to the Institute does so because they feel that they are no longer in control of something important to them. Often than not, the problem is not that the problems we face can't be solved. The problem is that we become so afraid of failure that we refuse to see our problems from a new perspective. And so, we do the same things again and again and again. And therein, of course, we find exactly the failure we were looking for. First, you thought outside the box, and you overcame them. Because you saw things from every angle, you understood them for what they really were. Because you kept moving forward, no matter how far off the path you were told you were headed, or how unexpected it became, you found your way. of you will say that none of this was real. So how could it have really meant anything? But just like the power of perspective itself, it will have been as real as you believed it to be. All you've got to do is wait. This game is free on Game Pass, if you want to do it yourself. <laughs> it needs a battle royale. <laughs> Wait, 
What do you mean, Amachi? Rhythm game mode. Probably, uh, we were talking about at the beginning of the stream. What was it? Steve? What's it called? What's the other game like this? Thanks for dreaming. Believe in your dreams. Stanley Parable. Rachel. Yeah. Stanley Parable and Portal had a child. Nice blue. Oh, there you go. I woke up. Extra mode. Challenge mode. What's challenge mode? Game select level. Hmm. Oh, I missed a fire alarm. Fail at throwing away trash. Ah, oh, I didn't empty all the fire extinguishers. Drink all sodas? How do you drink the soda? Beat the game in under 30 minutes? Mess with the main menu? Nessa, I dug it. You guys like it? I'm looking for more games like that. You know, games that are chill and quirky and interesting. That was fun. And if it's a game we can get done in, a, in one stream, all the better. That was great. Now, I did opt to... Uh, push late so that we could finish it so uh, I'm going to be skipping overtime tonight bummer I know thank you Liz but after a stressful day I'm my body needs extra rest <laughs> Well, that honestly, honestly, Arknessa, that was like literally the perfect game. <clears throat> that was the perfect game to play after the day I had. It was just chill. It was interesting, quirky. Uh, that was nice. That was cool. That was nice. Um, but uh, but yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, so yeah, Thursday. Ah, oh, appreciate you, creepy pasta. Appreciate you. Thursday. Man, today or tomorrow's gonna be so busy. <laughs> Tomorrow. Mm. 
Um, tomorrow, like I said, in the morning, I have to run to the studio to upload some files. Then I have Penelope's Christmas party. I have a doctor's appointment. Then uh, I'm going to be mixing uh, part two and then hopefully get it to upload by seven. All right, I'm Vampy. Oh, it's all right. I mean, it was stressful, but like it was a good stressful. Good stressful. Thank you. Yeah, no, tomorrow's going to be a busy day. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, not Tim. Uh, I, I only run. I don't drive anymore. I only run. But, uh, yeah. Hey, yo, Ashley, thank you. <laughs> I appreciate you. You know, I'm one of those people, like, some streamers will have, like, no backseat gaming. And, like, I like to try and, like, poke around and see if I can figure it out first. But I'd rather, like, keep the game going. I don't have any ego. So if, like, if someone's sitting there, like, he just needs to do this, you know, and sees me struggling, I have no problem with someone stepping in and be like, hey, just try this. Or, like, even, like, maybe I think you need to do something with this. So that was great. Ashley, you really helped out. Appreciate you. Lizard, hello. Ah, thank you, Creepypasta. The Sonic way, that's right. <laughs> ah, Mansion going to Disneyland tomorrow. Right on. All right, now here's a question. Is anyone playing a game called The Finals? Anyone playing the finals? Uh, it's like, it's a, I think it's a battle royale first person shooter, but like literally the entire, it's all destructible environments, but it looks crisp. It's not like Overwatch or Fortnite where it's like goofy cartoony. It looks like it's more of like a Call of Duty style, like realistic shooter, but like with destructible environments. Uh, it's free. Oh, heard of it, but I heard about the whole AI voice actor thing. Uh-oh, tell me more, Coop. Tell me more. Like, did she have a car? Tell me more, tell me more. Did you get very far? Uh-huh. Do-do, uh-huh, do-do. Uh-huh, do-do, do-do-do. Cause like if this is if they like support replacing oh, I feel it's like I'm really sibilant. Why am I so sibilant? Why am I so sibilant? Hang on, sibilant, sibilance. Uh but I feel like <clears throat> if they support replacing voice actors with AI, then I should not play this game, but I don't know. I was just like, that seems interesting and it's free. That's pretty cool. Seventeen gigs. Ocala Con in February. I am Ranguki. Hello. Josie, hello. <clears throat> The finals. Okay, hang on. Coop DM'd me. Stand by. People are really obsessed with this game that uses AI voice actors. Uh oh.
criticism went viral during the finals open beta with popular voice actor a person I've never heard of before Gianni Mat Matragrano not that I'm the end all be all of like of like people but like <laughs> when, when you proceed a name with the word popular you know <laughs> do you guys have you heard of this person <clears throat> text -to speech voice acting with his announcers to try and capture the game show format While the vo final voice acting appears a bit better, there are still moments where the quality proves subpar. The inflection and tone of the female announcer in particular is slightly strange at times. Now, the Kingfish, the oh. Jet Setters, God. and finally, the Powerhouses. And they are off! Welcome to Quick Cash, the team that tucks away enough money for triumphs. Scotty said it. Let's see who's got the pace to ace this race. We've got our first elimination, Scotty. Talk about making a solid first impression on our sponsors. Hold on to your Azult bucket hats, brought to you by Azult. If wishes were fishes, there'd be more kingfish in the arena. Only one contestant left for them. Alas, the kingfish have been wiped out. Looks like this was the one that got away from them. Absolutely, no doubt about it. Ouch, the kingfish suffered a wipeout. I guess the competition didn't have bigger fish to fry after all, Scotty. Precisely what I had in mind. The Kingfish are back. Team respond. Misfortune for the Jet Setters. Team wiped. They'll be cooling their jets now, Scotty. And there's another vault available for our cash-hungry teams. The powerhouses are in danger, but they still have one contestant going strong. The powerhouses will need to reboot. Team wiped. This round is becoming a bit of a fixer-upper for them. Deck your ship. Love you too. Have a good one. Here's the thing. <clears throat> Obviously, I don't support it, but. Vampy, it, it wasn't. Like, and here's the other thing too. It wasn't that bad. It wasn't great, but it wasn't that bad. And that company saved a ton of money. So. <laughs> no, rock, Rocker. I do this for a living. It's not good. But is it serviceable? Is it serviceable? This is the current problem. Uh pizza i don't think so here's the problem with ai the problem is let's see okay who who developed like here let's just do a little bit of deep diving okay here okay oh whoa Why with this? Okay. Uh, so this is the finals video game. Uh, Embark Studios. We've become gods, Marcus. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, John? Who owns Stop Oh, it's a Swedish studio. Who owns Embark Studios?
executive vice executive vp in charge of worldwide studios at ea oh god okay so this is even if embark studios is an independent company uh the guy who's their ceo is a former vp at ea so needless to say this guy is not er, this guy is very corporation friendly <clears throat> so what does that mean the biggest opponent like so here's the way here's how the one percent work like so right now if someone's like oh man oh the finals that looks so cool i want to play it and some some random person starts streaming it everyone that's like very pro union very pro voice actor anti-ai is gonna be like screw you man screw you screw you screw you and then the people who are like watching this person stream it are like what's the deal what's with these people like we're just trying to enjoy this game man kush, 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 kush. meanwhile the corporations the people the vps the executives are just going look at all this free public uh, publicity we're getting We will never win until we set our sights to the true enemy. And that is the corporations. And the fight against AI. It's not each other, even though, even those who play games like the finals that support AI voice acting. It's those people aren't that, they're just trying to play a, a, a game. They just are trying to have fun. So the true enemy is the corporations is this is ea and is uh embark studios but the problem is how do you fight against these corporations that's the current issue because as it stands now like me you know all, all us voice actors talk about this all the time now when ai first started creeping up i gave it 10 years i said 10 years and then everything's going to be replaced by AI. Uh, it's looking, I, it's, I had to a, a, amend that. I think it's going to be five years. So, and now most of you are anime fans. And so the way that that would uh, affect you guys is. Uh, Crunchyroll has a monopoly in the United States for anime distribution. Now, if it was just Crunchyroll themselves, it's like, okay, maybe we'll be okay. But Crunchyroll's owned by Sony. Sony's a big corporation. At some point, just watch. The first show, you're gonna hear a lot of background noise, a lot of background chatter, and you're gonna be like, oh, okay. I wonder who all was those additional voices. And you're gonna look at the credits and there's gonna be no listed credits for additional voices or like three or four for just like bit parts. You're gonna be like, that's weird. And I th so I think five years, five years, some Sony exec is gonna be like, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. So for Walla, which is all the background chatter, we're paying four actors? two hours each to do this hmm hey what if we just did ai i mean everyone's doing it ea's doing it disney's doing it let's oh and then you know the people at crunchy will, will be like no no like w no ai we believe in our voice actors and then sony will be like okay listen 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 what about just this walla thing what about just walla and i guarantee you five years five years we're gonna have our and it'll be like they're like not not my hero not fire force not whatever's big not demon slayer what's that that c title we got going on that no one's gonna watch that one instead of paying four actors per episode so like actually more like eight actors per episode however many hours to get all the walla and bits done you know watch out you know that stuff 
on this C grade title. Do AI. And then eventually the middle management at Crunchyroll is going to just give in. And it's going to be AI. And if they do that, they're, they're going to be thinking, oh, oh, it's just this one. It's just C titles. Boom. Knocks the door wide open. All of a sudden, all C titles are done with AI. And then, and, but I, I do think, uh, who was it? I don't remember who I saw said this, so this isn't my my original thought, but man, I want to say it was like Bill Butts or something. Someone said this, but we're going to get to a point. There's always going to be boutique studios and boutique shops that are, that are going to, they could make this much with, by using AI, but they're going to choose to make this much because they want to work with actual human beings, actual actors. Um, and what they're going to do is like, you know, like USDA organic, and it's going to be like, our dub is 100% human. That's going to be the new thing. And that'll be like 10 years from now. You know, we basically just met you, so it's kind of telling that we all know your personality is flaming crap mixed with garbage. That'll be the new thing, is like, this show from this studio, 100% human, 0% AI. It'll be kind of become like a, a pride thing. But... The corporations that are just looking to nickel and dime their bottom line. They're going to do anything like I think I think it'll be a long, long time before like the lead characters are AI. I think that'll be a long time. Um, but I think for I think in five years, we're going to get our first Walla sessions, our first Walla background, real small off camera bit lines will be AI in five years. I'm calling it. <clears throat> well, Amachi, sound engineers, mixers, directors, they will still be needed. Mixers will be, or uh, mixers will still be needed to dialogue mix adr engineers will still be needed to like organize everything and 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 they'll actually probably be the ones running the ai ai programs directors will be needed as basically just quality control and to direct the handful of lead characters that'll be actual actors yeah lady jiv yeah i don't know this is this is different though I mean, at some point, I think in 20 years, you will, I think anime will be completely AI. And I'm talking animated, written, acted, completely AI. And here's the thing. Here's the hard truth. I'm going to mute music for this. Here is the hard truth, right? This has always been the case in anime. Is that people will still watch it. Because AI will get to a point where it'll never be 100%. It'll never be exactly human actors. It won't. You can't. The heart, the conviction, it'll, it'll never be able to replicate that. But will it get you a passing grade? For example, let's say something like My Hero. You've been reading the My Hero manga, and oh my gosh, they're making an anime. So excited. Oh my gosh, so hype. I love anime. I love My Hero. This is going to be insane. Drawn, written, acted AI completely. Oh man, it's. I'll still check it out, but it's going to suck. It, yeah, it's a passing grade, but you know what? I'm hype. That's the ultimate problem. The ultimate problem is that 80% of people will still consume it. And so everyone trying to fight against it, it's not, the, it wouldn't be the same. I'm not, it won't be the same at all. And there will be 20% of people who will, will make a stand and like, no, 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 I don't like this at all. 
but most people will still consume it. I guarantee it. Guarantee it. And that's all that matters at the end of the day is to these corporations is money. So they're like, ooh, because they'll look at it like they'll look at it like we expected to make I'm just throw a random number out there. We expected season one to make a hundred million dollars. It only made 950 million. We came in under target. But we don't have to worry about unions. We don't have to worry about paying these actors. We don't have to worry about uh, episodes being delayed or, or actors being replaced. We don't have to worry about the salaries of these people and these people and these people. Stream Deck update available. I don't mean to be all doomsday. I don't even know where all this came from, but <laughs> it's just something that we've been talking about a lot um, in the voice acting sphere. Uh, but I don't know. I hope I'm wrong. Lord Explosion Murder Hello. I hope, you know, honestly, Moogs, like I, I think there are, there are people who are like, I can super tell I don't like it. I'm out. And the hope is that, hey, maybe I'm wrong. And maybe it's like half the people can tell. And then there will be a swing back. But AI has made such a splash. And it's only getting better that I think at the end of the day, I think where it's going to land and stay for a long time, even after like maybe they try and go all the way, they'll come back is I think it will be leads <clears throat> and handful of supporting, but any bits and Walla and all that stuff will be all AI. And it'll be something like um, key frames, key images will be hand-drawn, but the in-between artists, all AI. So AI is here to stay. Uh, it's weird that a game, I don't know, maybe I, I assume EA is maybe throwing some money at this game, but it's just so odd. They have just unlimited money and the way to skip it. It's not like these boring tasks that could easily be automated with AI. No, no, no. We're not going to replace that with AI. Hey, <laughs> the things that people are hearing, like I bet some of the music is AI. If they're doing the voice acting, why not the music? And it's like the people, the things that people are going to be constantly listening to. Let's use AI for that. And that's what I'll, it's stupid. <laughs> Tim. <laughs> yes, holy. And, and so here's why. <laughs> and here's why at the end of the day, like the corporate people the one percent are the enemy because at the end of the day literally ai replacing creative jobs only exists so that those people will have a little bit more money in their pocket so that they can buy a second yacht and that's why you should be angry so if you see someone playing the finals if you see someone watching anime that has AI in it. Don't be mad at them. Educate them. Tell them why AI is destroying an industry. Don't be mad at them. Turn their attention to the true enemy. Viva la revolution. Let's go. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> That's, oh, heck yeah, Kristen. Heck yeah. These rich people do, yeah. Yeah, creepy pasta. And there's like some YouTuber, right, who like basically retired, but like he's still putting out content. But it's it's just like him as an AI. Like he just used AI to like still like create content. <laughs> Holy! They don't need it. No one needs a yacht.
Joe Biden? Joe Byron? What are you talking about? Anyway, all right. Sorry, sorry. The stuff gets me fired up. It's on the top of everyone's mind. And, oh yeah, cool. I, um, cause I, so maybe I guess I won't play this game. <clears throat> Why would I when I have Call of Duty? How do I get out of here? Byron, Joe Byron? 6400 stimulus. Yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, Kotsky, that'll be uh, in spring. Yeah. I don't know. I, I'm overall I'm an optimistic person, but in in regards to this, it's I just know corporations now too well. Like things are really bad at Crunchyroll right now. And like people are like so shocked. And I'm like don't you remember when I first came on to Crunchyroll? It was when uh, Navar. Anyone remember that? Anyone remember the old Funimation logo? And it said a Navar Corporation. Anyone remember that? That was 2006 to 2009. It was a brief like three years. Long time ago. But yeah, so when Navarre owned Funimation, Navarre owned four companies. Funimation was one of them. And then the 08 recession happened. Funimation was the only profit, uh, profitable company that Navarre owned. So all the budget cuts went to Funimation. <laughs> we were like, what the? How is this fair? And so yeah, like raises freezed, bonuses freeze, and they never came back until way later. Bonuses. Um, and it was it sucked. Con contractors they just let him go, and it was it was brutal for a little while. And then uh, Gen and his investor buddies bought Funimation from Navar, and then things were good for a handful of years. And then Sony came in as everyone everyone was excited. They're like, "We're being bought by Sony," and I was like, "Guys, this isn't good. <laughs> this is bad." It's like, oh, Sony is that some mom and pop? Investor group down the street. Oh, no, it's a billion dollar corporation. This is gonna suck <laughs> It always happens if you're if you're working somewhere at some mom-and-pop place or like some small company and they come in They're like we're looking at investors The best thing you can do. Okay, here's some advice the best thing you can do if you work at a company small enough we're like it, the executives, even if it's like an LLC or a S Corp or something, they're like, hey, we're looking at investors to buy the company. Instead, go, hey, how about no? How about instead you sell it to us and we will have a worker co-op? And then you and all the other employees can basically come together and buy the company and have it be a worker co-op. And then you all have your set salaries and then you all... Uh, benefit from the fruits of your labor some companies do it and it's absolutely magical i've unfortunately never had the pleasure of working at a worker co-op but if you can and like literally because a lot most companies the way they get bought out is some bigger company comes by and is like we're interested in buying your company and they're like cool because if it's any sort of like corporate like whether it's an s corp or some kind of other corporate setup they're basically being bought out for like twice as what the company's worth not even what they put in so if someone like took out like a hundred thousand dollar business loan to start a business and then later their business is worth like five million 
when someone comes along to buy it, they'll they're gonna buy it out for like fifteen million. So like, they're like, oh shit, like I'm making off my hundred thousand dollar loan. What is even my money? I'm about to make fourteen million nine hundred thousand dollars. Sweet, and that's but you gotta step in. You're like, hold on, hold on. How about instead? You sell it to all the workers. Sell it to the workers. We'll do a worker co-op. And so like, let's say there's, okay, hang on. So let's say company worth 15 million. Let's see how many people, how many people work at a company bought for 15 million? I'm gonna say like 200, 200, 200 people. Uh, I don't even know how I'd find this. Uh, let's say, let's say, uh, hmm. let's say 200 people. Let's say 200 people. So let's say that company bought out, got was getting bought out for 15 million. So instead he'd be like, hey, they're offering 15 million. We're gonna turn it into a, a worker co-op. We will do 15 million. So between 250 people, you each would, every single employee would take out a $60,000 SBA government loan, 60 grand. You would all be equal owners in your company that you now own. And here's the thing, and here is the maddening part, right? So all that changes in this company is the executives just go away because they sold. All that's left is the employees. And guess what? Everything stays the same. The only thing that changes is now all those employees are now putting the fruits of their labor directly into their pocket instead of into the yachts of their executives. It's infuriating. But instead what happens is people like Sony come along. They buy up the company. The executives get paid like three times what they invested and they're happy as a clam. And then they come in, they're like, guys, everything's gonna stay the same. We're just gonna skim off the top. But then slowly over time, slowly over time, this changes. That change, it's slow enough that most people don't notice or they get kind of used to it or, oh yeah, just some uh, changes. Okay, okay, okay. But if you were to take all those changes and line them up, contractors that you've known for a long time, all gone, changed over. Hiring uh, uh, raises frozen. Bonuses changed if not gone away. Uh, policies, inner company policies go from this to this bad solution to that bad solution to that bad solution to that bad solution. It just, just things over time just get so, so bad. And the thing is, like if you work at a small company and you're like feeling disgruntled or want to change things, things could change because you can actually talk to the people or if you work in a worker co-op, hey guys, we need to change the way this is done. Okay, we all benefit from that. Great, let's change it. But a corporation, if someone's disgruntled enough, they just let them be demoralized and disgruntled because eventually they know that that person's just gonna quit and they can just bring someone on for cheaper, someone more malleable and someone for cheaper. So they don't care to fix anything. Why would they? They're so short-sighted at the end of the day, all they care about is making sure that their bottom line is just a little bit better than last time. Or if it's a little worse, let's get rid of some people. Okay, now it's just as good. Anyway. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm gonna get off my soapbox and go to bed. <laughs> oh man.
Yeah, creepy pasta, exactly. Uh, anyway, yeah, when the guillotines come out, let me know. <laughs> I'm ready. I am freaking ready. Someday. <laughs> anyway, I, I guess Don. <laughs> Alicia, thanks for the rose. Appreciate you. Here I am working for Amazon, though. <laughs> like one of the worst companies of all time. Like I saw there was some uh, uh, article. It was like Amazon starting, what was it? Homeless shelter for employees. And it was like homeless shelter for employees. <laughs> that should be an oxymoron. But everyone's just like, Good job, Jeff Bezos. Good job. Alicia, thanks for the lightning bolt. So many lightning bolts. Oh, Alicia sending hearts? Yeah, hang on. Let me find it. Hang on. Uh, Amazon homeless shelter for employees. Now, this might be... This is from the Nordly. I don't know what the Nordly is. Jeff Bezos opens homeless shelter for Amazon employees. Four years ago. Wait, what? Is this just a picture? Inside Amazon's new eight floor family homeless shelter attached to its Seattle HQ. But wait, you know what? Actually, I think uh, I think mortgage rates are going down. Ah, ah I predicted it. Superpower, Kotsky Bakugo. Dude, that's crazy that mortgage rate the interest rates for mortgages are at seven percent that is insane mortgage rates will be at least a full two percent lower by 2025 still five percent though man they just don't want millennials to buy uh buy houses <laughs> Man. More money in renting than owning, yeah. Uh, creepy pasta, you just gotta wait. I mean, hopefully more interest rates drop enough and mortgages in general and housing house values drop my advice to people now who are just like so anxious to buy yeah i saw moogs super bummer he was a 61 uh is to look at land because like houses went they skyrocketed land went up but not as much if you're really looking to buy uh now i would buy land and you could put like a trailer or a tiny house on that land and then just wait. And then when things get a lot cheaper, then you can build. <laughs> Rocker, I thought you already did. <laughs> Selling for 5,000 an acre? What? No. 
Alicia just dropping so much. All the lightning bolts and the finger hearts. Appreciate you. I meant regularly. Mortgage rate. Well, so that's your interest rate. Um, when Karen and I bought, we thought we bought high. Where our interest rate is 3.45. Now it's at, it was just at like almost 8% nationally. It's just like, my God. And that just skyrockets your monthly payment. Get the house that's considered haunted, yeah. Was it like you should get the worst house on the best street? Yeah, purple cobalt. I think I told you guys uh, when we were at my grandparents, um, they just celebrated their 75th wedding anniversary. So they got married in 1948. And on it was like stats about 1948. It was like average income. And like the average income was like $3,000 a year. And then the average house was like $7,000 a year. And so I was like, hmm. And so it was like, did the math. And it was like your average yearly income was like 18 or it was like 40% uh, of how much a house would cost. And now it's like 18%. And like, you know, my, you know, all the, the boomers in the house, you know, uncles and parents and whatnot, they were like, I was like, man, that's crazy. And they were like, ah, people just need to work harder. And I was like, or look at this houses used to be your, your income was 40% comparatively to a house. Now it's 18%. I smell beef. So maybe, uh, Maybe just housing prices have just skyrocketed. What's seven? What's seven grand, Matt? What's seven grand in twenty from nineteen forty eight? Or like the average house in nineteen forty eight was like seventy seven hundred. Watch this. This is gonna blow your mind. Cause the average housing price now is four hundred twenty five thousand dollars. That's the average house now. Look at that number that Matt just dropped. The average house translated for inflation, $88,000. That is insane. Oh, thank you, Creepypasta. Yeah. Like just in the like we bought our house in 2016. Our house in 2016 was uh 185. That is $240,000 less than what the average house cost 7 years later. Uh, see, Vampy, here's the thing. Gen Z, uh, I think, will fix everything. Uh, the millennials will, I think, historically, we will be known as, like, the lost generation. Because millennials, we won't own, in general, we won't own anything. We won't own businesses. We won't own houses. We won't own anything. But Gen Z will come in and be the ones, finally, that's like, screw this. Because basically what's going to happen is boomers are going to start wanting to be taken care of by Gen Z. And Gen X is going to want to be taken care of by Gen Z. Or boomers are going to want to be taken care of by millennials. And we'd be like, we can't, we literally can't help you. You are now going to have to live in our house and it's going to suck. And then Gen X is going to be like, hey, Gen Z, help us out. And Gen Z is going to be like, no, <laughs> no. And these older generations, it's just all going to collapse. All of a sudden, all these people that owned houses, like, because Gen Z, you know, millennials are going to maybe inherit houses from boomers. They're just going to sell it. 
And there's just gonna be so because they they've just been building houses like crazy. All of these houses are about to be empty in like 20 years as boomers and then Gen X start retiring and dying. All of these houses are just gonna be liquidated or sold for short sale or just put up for auction or demoed. There's gonna be a lot of empty neighborhoods. <laughs> and so all these firms that have bought up all these houses are gonna be like, wait, 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 why don't you rent? It'll be like, well, me and my four friends are renting this place. It's the only way we've been able to live. Skater, I asked that too, because bringing it back, talking about AI and stuff like that, at the end of the day, it's like, you know, the the like super pro union blue collar worker in me, it, like whenever I see like self checkout or like McDonald's, like no employees, like that hurts my heart. The futurist in me is like, that's pretty cool. And the answer is, universal basic income so at some point it's like we should have universal basic income and these monotonous menial jobs should go away that's what ai and like robots and stuff should replace is these menial jobs and then just have a universal basic income so people are free to explore their hobbies and their creative selves and make the world a better place we should be entering a a second renaissance because we should have technology replacing all these menial jobs but allow people to still live and have universal basic income and then all these people are all of a sudden have the time instead of working three jobs hey they now have a universal basic income to survive and live and be comfortable and then they have the time to flourish creatively and then all of a sudden it should just be like my god we live in just the most amazing creative time but unfortunately that will never happen in my lifetime maybe it'll happen in my daughter's lifetime i'd like i like to think that i like to think that my daughters will eventually get to live in a utopia can i just be the president i hell no <laughs> One can dream. Oh, yeah, purple cobalt. Yeah, everything's gone up. It's all going to come to a head eventually. Just keep at it. Keep doing what you're doing. And when, when the call comes, rise to the occasion. And we'll see. Yeah, exactly. So, like... We just talk about, like, what if Bernie Sanders got elected instead of Donald Trump? You know, what if it was Bernie Sanders instead of Hillary Clinton in 2016? I feel like Bernie would have won. I feel like Bernie would have beaten Trump. But would he have gotten anything done? He still has the corporate-friendly House and corporate-friendly Senate to contend with. Remember Mitch McConnell? He would have not let Bernie do anything. So that's kind of the, at the end of the day, it's like checks and balances are very important. Oh yeah, hell yeah, Kristen. Uh, but yeah, it would take like electing someone like Bernie as president, but also a lot of people like Bernie or who are willing to work with Bernie and compromise and talk and debate. To be elected into the house and senate and then things would get done that's kind of the real heartbreaking thing for me at the end of the day it's like i remember like a time when you could argue and debate and talk and now it's just everyone's just so entrenched it's like politics have turned into sports it's like my team versus your team it's like no or how about we just try and do what's best for everyone <laughs> why don't we just talk and figure out a compromise Anyone ever think about that? We used to do that. Yeah. that I think, honestly, if I could change one thing. I think if I could change one thing. Well, it'd be two, technically. But basically, it would be making uh, the highest public office positions uh, 
not desirable. So that would be the one thing I do, but to do that basically would be to limit term limits. So I think for uh, for House and Senate, it'd be four two-year terms. And so the way it works is if you serve in the House or the Senate, you get a pension for life. Uh, but I think it should be however many years you served, that's how many years of a pension you should get. So if you serve four years, you, you're then voted out, you get four years of a pension. So like, cause if you put your life on hold to go run for Senate and then you were a Senator for four years, you shouldn't then just be thrown to the wolves. Like I think four years of a pension to like kind of go back and whatever, it's still very generous, but it makes it much less uh, desirable. The other thing is I think Congress's, uh, yes, zero and cap their term limit to eight years. Uh, I think Congress's salary should be tied to the median income of the country. So I think right now they're, they, hang on. Uh, how much do people in Congress make? $174,000. So yeah, no, the median income right now, I believe is 72,000. So I think, and not the average, the median, big difference. I think the average income in the U.S. is like a hundred thousand dollars. Median income is income is like seventy two thousand. <clears throat> so you make that position much less desirable. And so I, people who truly want to do it, truly want to help, I think they would still go for it, and I think that would solve a lot of problems. I think because then you'd get stuff like hey, we trickle down into like we'd get ranked choice voting. We get universal health care. You know, we would get uh, instead of uh, gerrymandering districts, it would just be by counties or something very simple. And that makes sense. It would just solve a lot of things. Uh, and, uh, lobbying. Lobbying with money would be illegal. Anyway, yeah, we did go down a rabbit hole. All right, I'm going to bed. <laughs> Y'all the best. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. I'm sorry I get real fired up about this stuff, but uh, it's, uh, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> um, uh, I'll see. Like I said, I got a busy day tomorrow. Maybe I'll try and uh, relax in the late evening. Maybe do some Modern Warfare uh, in the Discord tomorrow night. Um but uh, yeah, Thursday. <laughs> I still haven't. I moved the green screen. It's just been in my front hallway because I was like, I'm going to take this down. The goal is, I think, probably Thursday then I'm going to take this down, free up this open, open up this space in time for Bryce, Gwen, and Philip to come, our, uh, come over to uh, Thursday. And uh, we're going to be having a cooking stream, chilling, talking to you guys. I'll probably throw a game on there well it's thursday night maybe i'll just put on thursday night football but my goal is to have you know so i'll have this camera and then you guys will be able to do exclamation point cam switch over there like boom boom different angles i'm gonna have this mic and one of those mics over there both going so you should be able to hear everything pretty easily and then the goal is so philip's gonna be like right here the goal is to have a third camera Whoosh. uh over his cooking situation so you can see what he's doing so that's the goal should be fun uh, i'm excited to chill uh yeah i think it'll be cool and i'm excited to eat philip's food <laughs> so yeah anyway that is thursday appreciate you guys if i missed any cheers follows subs or donations I apologize for missing those, but I appreciate 
disappeared. I'm sorry, I get a little fired up sometimes. I, I'm at at my core. I'm just a goofy guy who likes to just hang out and be silly. But sometimes I get a little fired up about stuff because. The injustices of the world weigh heavily on someone who's seen them for 36 years. And they bubble up every once in a while. <laughs> all right. All right, I'm Creepy Pasta. Appreciate you all. Y'all are the best. And thank you, Arknessa, for picking uh, Super Liminal. Super cool game. Had a blast with it. For the static shock, all around me see the bodies drop. Hey, no, I've not forgot. Things getting frazzled when I'm lighting up. Uh, overloading and bordering, on exploding. I'm showing my current flowing. They're blowing out for a moment. I'm smoking up like a blunderbuss, protecting every one of us, leaving everybody feeling thunderstruck. Had enough? I'm energetic, you bet it's cause sometimes I'm a fool. See me kick it back, casual, cool, at the school. I may not be the brightest, but I've got the spark in my heart that's ignited. Fighting, you know I'm going all out, fall down. I'm okay, deal with the fallout. Electrifying and frying up me. This body jolts, bring it power a million volts. I'm lining up, bringing my best with the fighters up. Oh, I'm rising up, power overloading and igniting up. Oh, I'm fired up, put me to the test and I'm wired up. I'm climbing up, then I come down like a thunderbolt. <laughs> I do it carelessly, so recklessly, heavily. My specialty is senselessly charging into battle with a tendency to overheat.